is there a consensus on council to see if in a, a bridge over Butler Avenue, north to south, is a viable option and to assess the estimated costs on such a proposition. Um, City Clerk, if you could give a roll call randomized so that way we're we're all good on that, that would be great. Of course, um, I am seeing, sorry, I apologize. I am seeing a hand up from Martin Entz. So if you'd like to uh, chime in here real quick, that'd be great. Yeah, th thank you, uh, Mayor, members of the council. I, I, I feel compelled just to offer uh, some thoughts on the notion of a bridge. Um, I, I think in the uh, good transportation planning would indicate that that we should never use a bridge or an underpass for pedestrians as a substitute for an intersection that is pedestrian and bicycle friendly. Uh, I think this is in a way the opposite of, of moving transportation forward. This is a, a solution that a lot of places in the 1970s did to kind of take pedestrians out of the equation. And so they would build a bridge over uh, a busy roadway or an intersection. And very few people, very few people use those bridges. Um, you know, they're difficult to, to build. They're difficult to make friendly for pedestrians and bikes. Uh, tunnels have additional problems with uh, perceived safety. And so there's a lot of, they, they can be very, very beneficial, but there's a lot of pitfalls as well. And I think they should always be used when they are when they are definitely amenities for peds and bikes, and not used when they are uh, kind of a reason to uh, or or uh, give us a, a, an excuse not to make a, an intersection pedestrian and bike friendly. And I apologize for interrupting your proceedings. We're, we're getting so close to the end, but I, I felt compelled to just uh, kind of offer that information. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. I yeah, and I appreciate your input in that regard. Um, with regards to that, though, we do need to see if this is a right now. I mean, we're at 30 percent design here. We're not making a final vote tonight. Do we want to see this as a potential option, assess estimated costs that may affect our um, decision making regarding that intersection? So I will start with that question on uh, with this roll call just to make sure we're all on board. Do you want to see a uh, what it would look like for a bridge north to south over Butler uh, for bike ped and what the estimated cost would be associated. So um, that is that is the question I had hand for direction first and foremost. Um, City Clerk, if you wanted to go through <coughs> randomized roll call. Council Member Sweet. Yes, I would like more information on that. Thank you. Councilmember McCarthy. Yes, I'm willing to have a discussion. Councilmember Shimoni. Sorry, my computer is delaying. Uh, I'm a no. I, I, I think that Martin's points were, were made pretty clear and I agree with them. Thank you. Councilmember Aslan. I'm very much a yes. Uh, I've always been interested in exploring these other design options uh, from a, a tunnel underwards and a bridge over. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing uh, more from that conversation. Councilmember Solis. Yes, I do. Mayor Deasy. Yes. Vice Mayor Daggett. Yes. Uh, All right. We oh, have sorry. Oh, sorry. I was going to say we have consensus. OK, thank you. I didn't know if and maybe we missed someone that I was interjecting. Um, <laughs> uh, OK, so with that set, we need to discuss, OK, what would it be if we do not have a bridge? What option would you like to see? And from what I'm hearing from council in terms of the majority from the discussion was that the traditional option five seemed to be the majority um, that I would like to see if this bridge option is not available. So I would like to say if this bridge option does not occur, what option would you like to see? So we're going to do a yes, no on option five of the traditional. 
Mayor, a point of order. Uh, I suggest that we, since we have two things on the table, five and one, could we ask people if they're for a one or if they're for a five? You do what you want, but that's my suggestion. Thank you, but we also had other options that were not specifically stated by council. I'm basing it on what the uh, members of council have said that I've heard a majority speaking to, which was five. Um, as opposed, and that's not five verse two, five verse one, five verse three. So if this a is person wants one in this question about five, they would vote no. Okay, exactly. So if you uh, if you want option two, then you vote no on this. If you have one option one, you vote no. The question is, no bridge occurring. Which option would you or would you like option number five? Thank yes you. or no. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So roll call, please. Vice Mayor Daggett. Yes. Member Sweet. Yes. Council Member McCarthy. No. Council Member Shimoni. I think he might have just shorted out on his internet oh, connection. I'm here. So. I'm so sorry. Oh. My computer died. Uh, I just signed back into my phone. Um, I'm going to assume we're still voting on five, and if so, it's a yes. Council Member Aslan. I'm a yes with the caveat that I would like more information about 5B. I think there's a slight alteration to the traditional, which might include a second left turn lane and improve level of service a little bit. I'm interested in learning more about that. But for the purposes of your question, Mayor, yes. Council Member Salas? No. no. Mayor Deasy? Yes. Um, with that, I also wanted to address the 5B option that Council Member Aslan is saying, and uh, would like to say, would like to have confirmation that that would be a direction to see what that would look like. Um, to have a 5A versus 5B option, just to make sure we have clear direction on what potentialities we would like to consider in the future. Uh, Council Member Shimoni, I see your hand up. Really, really quick. I'm sorry to interrupt the flow. Uh, maybe Council, maybe you or Council Member Asin can just uh, refresh my memory on what one if I B is. Yeah, I Council think Asin. I think what it is is two left turn lanes um, coming from on Lone Tree, heading south. That's my understanding. Um, Someone may be able to clarify that. Uh, there might be more nuance to it. Yeah, Jason has his hands up. If you'd like to jump in here. Yeah, so 5B is basically alternative one with no right turn lanes in any direction. That's what 5B would be. It's a share through to, through right movement in all four legs. <laughs> so if you use picture one with no right turn lanes. Uh, Council Member Shimoni. Interesting. Um, Your hand is up. Sorry, my microphone's on a delay. I don't know why that is. Um, I just wanted to say to Council, I, I, I appreciate this option. I just wanted to share with the double left turn. I do wonder what that cost implication is going to be on the bridge with the, the 26 29 foot median that's going to be required for that. But uh, I'm really happy to see us explore it. Um, I just wanted to add that to the, the thought process. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Shimoni. Um, so this would be. Yeah, it's, it's not. So it's not clear to me that 5B is the same as one without. So anyway, I, I, I would think uh, that what what I was asking for still stands, which is a little bit more clarity to explore what that would look like further. And maybe maybe that will be explained in a way that makes total sense to me when we do that, but I, I, I would love to explore that again. 
Right, well, then would we like to ex then the the uh, decision then at this point would just be, would we like to pursue that kind of different option that's kind of uh, some way uh, in between between the traditional and typical method that we're discussing? Yes. So um, if you wanted to roll call just to make sure we have clear direction for um, everyone to explore this option. Yes, roll call, please. Mayor Deasy. Yes. Vice Mayor Daggett. Yes. Member Sweet. Yes. Council Member McCarthy. I think this is a great idea. I'm a yes. Council Member Shimoni. Sure. <laughs> yes. Council Member Aslan. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Councilmember Salas. Yes. Thank you. Um, well, with that, I just want to. Uh, I really appreciate the entire discussion here, Councilmember Aslan. Uh, did you, Chairman? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Mayor DZ. Um, so I think we also need to provide direction on whether or not um, uh, uh, Christine should go move forward with. The other aspects of the Rio to flag project. Did we? I believe that, that matter has been, clear that direction? matter has been settled. Yeah, we are moving forward with okay. Rio to flag. I'm sorry to okay, interrupt. Okay, great. Not an I issue. Just wanted to. Great. Good. I'm glad there's clarity there. Thank you, City Manager. And then the other thing we need to decide from tonight's discussion um, is regarding the evaluation metrics. Um, uh, Council Member Shimoni, if you would like to um, maybe clarify that a little more clearly uh, regarding, you know, going beyond levels of service and how we do that with code or whatnot, so that way we can also have clear direction on where we would like to move forward on the associated code that could impact this. Absolutely. Thank you, Mayor. And I went ahead and unmuted myself so I wouldn't have that lag. Um, yeah, my understanding, council members, is that when we design and prioritize, you know, to our conversation last week with Dr. Contreras, uh, he spoke to the evaluation metrics being a very important point in how we evaluate our priorities in on a, any given project. And currently, we look through really two lenses, level of service and queuing lengths. So there's many other levels of service related things from economic economy for local businesses to equity, to community character, to uh, cost benefit analysis and opportunities. And uh, Dr. Contreras is, is part of a, a consultant firm that works with Metro Plan, and I believe could be able uh, to help WSP in generating a, a range of evaluation metrics that will be appropriate. So, um, I'm going to turn my camera off because I'm having bandwidth issues, but uh, I think this is really important, Council, and and I and I hope there's support for this because this is part of the shift that I think we're we're experiencing right now, and this is next level thinking, and and this is I think we can really be a leader when it comes to evaluation metrics, and why not put all the different options and evaluations on the table, from public safety to businesses to to all these things and, and and continue working with Dr. Contreras. Thank you, Mayor, hopefully that's clear. Thank you, Council Member Shimoni. So in general, this is basically, um, should we pursue and look at other options for metrics that we would use in our code that would better uh, identify the other aspects of um, public, of, bike pet safety and transportation in general, aside from levels of service that we are all kind of nailed down upon right now. Plus, plus, um, you know, economic impact to local businesses. That's one of the levels or metrics, um, equity, community character of like impacting to surrounding communities. Um, there's a whole list and it's not like I'm just making this up. These are these are metrics that ADOT uses that other uh, agencies use, and Dr. Contreras I think can really help us with that. 
OK, thank you. And then I see Rick Barrett has a comment, uh, so uh, feel free to chime in. Thank you, Mayor. I, I just want to, at least for my own edification, understand if this is something to occur now as part of Council's decision process for these alternates we're talking about, or is this a future endeavor? because it'll come back to the timing issue that we've been talking about. Thank you, thank you, Rick. And I also see uh, uh, Chip Milebeck also has a comment and then we can circle back to answering that. Uh, yes, Mayor and Council Member Shimoni. I just want to, uh, Jeff Milebeck, Executive Director Metro Plan. I just want to share that Metro Plan is in the midst of its next 25 year plan. And we are working with Seth and developing performance metrics. And there's an advisory group involved in that. And, you know, we're working on that for the big picture. I, I don't know how that applies to this project or how you see it fitting in, but I just wanted to share for the longer term that is a question we are exploring. Thank you, Jeff. Really, really appreciate that. So uh, to my understanding, Councilmember Shimoni, this was more of a general uh, direction rather than something specifically tied to the specific plan we are looking for with and the decision we are making tonight, because we have already made the votes and roll calls on these options. So um, I just want to make that clear. We have made the decision already on these potential options and ways to move forward. This was in addition to um, the general discussion we've been having that I felt it was important for us to note, and Councilmember Shimoni did as well. So uh, Councilmember Shimoni, please. Really quick, Mayor, I'll just say, you know, as we dive into the details of the direction we gave, um, these other evaluation metrics could be looked at. And, and I'd like to see us do that, implement that now. Um, and for this project, I think it's not too late. That's what staff has told me. I've talked to a lot of different key players in this. And I think it's possible, and I think it would be very valuable to go ahead and implement it here. But if I'm in the minority here, that then it, then that it is what it is. Thank you. And my my thinking on that is that there's a lot of metrics. I mean, there's so many things that we could be measuring to include into code. Uh, and with that request, I was I was kind of expecting more of like a let's explore how we can include these types of metrics that are being developed in other cities into our own code. Um, and that would be obviously with a code change that's going to affect far more than just Lone Tree and how we're approaching it. So what the direction would be then is having uh the direction towards our city staff to identify and explore additional metrics aside from levels of service that could be included in our code and assess how that might uh change our approach to this or other projects uh, am i correct in that council member shimoni sure um i'm open to that <laughs> thank you yeah, OK, so uh, let's just give some clear direction. Do we want to uh, see if this is and uh, city attorney, please chime in if we're veering away from the um, current dis or the needed discussion agendized discussion. Um, but the idea is, should we consider add including more metrics into our code that may be able to better identify the values that we are wishing to seek in this project and other projects moving forward i think uh mayor council so long as it's clear that uh while that is something that you may be giving direction on here tonight as uh, rick barrett indicated it would be long term um not necessarily incorporated into this project. That's what I'm understanding, correct? It would be this project would not be contingent upon necessarily, but correct. Obviously, if we are still if we're changing code, it would impact all of our projects, including this one moving into the future. And that that is fine. OK, thank you. 
Well, um, I'll just give a direction on this, and I appreciate Mr. Milebeck, and maybe this doesn't even need a formal direction because, honestly, a lot of this work is already in motion. Um, but let's just make it clear on whether we want to see this happen since it's already up on the table here. So uh, roll call, please, on including and exploring additional metrics into our code aside from levels of service that could be uh, help us better identify um, the how <sighs> brain fit <and> motion. <laughs> Uh, yes, so the more than just the levels of service, should we be including additional metrics that better identify our values that um, are more centric towards bike, ped, alternative modes of transportation, and uh, public safety that would better identify projects for grading level? Does that make sense? Cheese at least. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so let's do roll call. Let's do that. Councilmember Shimoni. Easy, yes. Quick for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a yes. <laughs> plus community character, plus businesses, all of the above. I'm a yes. Thank you. Councilmember Aslan. I'm a yes, and I appreciate being able to go on the record uh, stating that it. It, it does seem like this is happening informally, but I'm happy to sort of codify it here tonight. Thank you. Oh, Council Member Salas. Hi. Mayor Deasy. Yes. Vice Mayor Daggett. Yes. Council Member Sweet. <clears throat> yes. Member McCarthy. I am supportive of this, but I'm going to vote no on procedural grounds. I believe this should be a fair. All right. There you go. <laughs> so uh, aside from that, there is a question whether this should be uh, again, referred to committees and commissions regarding our decisions tonight and how to move forward. Yeah. Um, so that way we can include the public input on our decisions tonight, not just from town halls, et cetera, but to refer this to co the commissions and potentially have that convention of many commissions that we had last Thursday or the Thursday before. So. Uh, this is what council member uh, Shimoni had mentioned earlier. Just want to uh, make sure we're in the direction that we want public input on the decisions we made tonight and steps moving forward on that level. And I'm I'm just going for a thumbs up. I don't I don't think we need a roll call on this point. Yeah. May I comment on this before we take a vote? Yes, council member McCarthy. Uh, <clears throat> We had a, a four hour meeting recently that included the public, the Transportation Commission, the Pedestrian Committee, the Bicycle Committee. We had similar meetings like six months ago. We've had numerous meetings at City Council. We've had many other meetings besides the one I already mentioned at the Bicycle Committee and or the uh, Pedestrian Committee. So I think that we've have done a, a lot of public input, not to mention the number of uh, emails that we've gotten. So I don't see a need to do this over again. If we've already done it, we've killed the baby already. Thank you, Councilmember McCarthy. Uh, Councilmember Shimoni? Yeah, really quick, I'll just say that, you know, they, they reviewed options one through four and it was very loud and clear that they struggled with the size and the maths and i'm hoping at like round two with the options that we're moving forward with i think that they'd actually really appreciate to be part of that conversation we have a lot of experts in the community that i think could really help us and i'd like to hear from them i see a lot of value in that but but again um that's just me thank you Thank you, Council Member Shimoni. I did see city manager turn on his video, so I'll, uh, yeah, like to 
give him the the uh, soapbox here. Thank you. I'm going to weigh in on this. I think it's getting a, a bit circuitous, the discussion. And I want to be respectful of all the things that our commissions are tasked in doing. I want to remind council that we had a discussion on high occupancy housing that did not have closure on it. And it was referred to two commissions that had never heard it before. So we're bouncing things to commissions well into the policy discussion of which they are not knowledgeable. In this case, the suggestion is we're bouncing things back to the commissions of which they've already weighed in on. I believe it's taking a very effective process and making it very circular. Thank you. Thank you, city manager, and I am in agreement on that. Uh, let's continue. Let's move forward with the uh, decisions today. I'm sure the committees also will be and commissions will be um, if they desire to continue their in, a heavy involvement in this process, will take it upon themselves to discuss and give us input and send us emails, etc. So I don't think that needs formal direction um, from council tonight. I just am trying to wrap up a lot of the conversation and notes I've taken uh tonight to make sure that we have succinct direction and i do not recognize it is after midnight so um is there any uh any further clarifications we need in terms of direction from uh that city staff would need at this point uh, thank you mayor this is christine again um so our first step will again be with revising the modeling and getting to adot um and that will be with with option number five uh, and and five B, and then we will be back to council um, to provide you some some input on that. Thank you, Christine. Much much appreciated. Uh, Sterling, you have a comment? Yeah, I just wanted. Uh, there was one other one I believe Council Member Shimoni put out there with respect to Eldon as bike pet only. Um, that one um, did not receive support from any other council members. I just wanted to note for the record that that one wouldn't be moving forward. Thank you, Sterling. Um, unless otherwise noted by any other member of council. Uh, council Member Shimoni. I'm so sorry, Council. I know it's after midnight. I'll just say that Miss Deb and the Southside community made it really clear to me that they don't want through traffic there. And I, I just think it's even in this late hour and point that I advocate for what they want and, and what they requ requ request. So maybe we don't make a clear direction, but we ask staff to meet with Southside and talk further. I, I don't know, Mayor, but I just think that we need to be respectful to the Southside community. Thank you. I don't think there is through traffic on Eldon right now. It doesn't connect through yet. Is it supposed to in these plans? Yeah, it is. It is supposed to. It's planned to. It doesn't at the moment. I didn't see any of that in the in the designs that we discussed today. Maybe that's a future conversation. We've had it in the past and they didn't really speak to it today, but we talked about it last time in October. Um, but yeah, maybe Mayor, we kick this one a little bit and let staff wrestle a bit with it with the south side. I don't know what the best approach is. Yeah, that that's my mind at this point. Let's we'll we'll engage further on that conversation and bring that up at a later time because uh, that's a different beast. We would probably need more information on and trying to wrap our heads around at a very late hour. Um, I do see Vice Mayor though has a comment. That's what I was going to say. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. So we'll pick that up um, at a future date and let's just make sure we are in communicado with the um, Southside Neighborhood Association and better understand their the issues with the Eldon. Um, uh, yeah, ramp. So, uh, OK, with with that in mind, is there anything else that we need to clarify before moving forward? City manager, city attorney, if you want to jump in just to give me a thumbs up, that would be cool. Nothing more from me. Thank you. <laughs> 